The South African political landscape has been ignited by recent controversies surrounding the police minister Beck and his use of a South African police services helicopter at the ANC manifesto launch at the Moses Mabida Stadium on Saturday. A video capturing his arrival via helicopter has sparked widespread debate with accusations of misuse of state resources clashing with justifications for security measures. The DA, a prominent opposition party, has been at the forefront of criticism condemning the use of the helicopter as a gross abuse of state resources. DA Shadow Minister of Police Andrew Whitfield called for Ele to be held personally accountable, demanding that he pay for every flight minute and advocating for a full internal investigation within the South African Police Services to review the authorization process. Whitfield further emphasized the broader implications of this incident, stating that it exemplifies an arrogant sense of entitlement prevalent among ANC politicians and highlights the prioritization of personal gain over addressing the nation's pressing issues, particularly the ongoing crime crisis. In response to the accusations, the South African Police Services issued a statement through Brigadier Atlanta Marte explaining the rationale behind the helicopter deployment. Mate emphasized the role of the National Joint Operational and Intelligence Structure in ensuring security at major events, including the ANC manifesto launch. According to the statements, the National Joint Operational and Intelligence Structure, led by the South African Police Services, coordinates various law enforcement agencies to guarantee the safety and security of large gatherings. This collaboration involves pooling resources, including air support from the South African Police Services Air Wing to monitor crowds, prevent incidents like stampedes, and provide real-time guidance to ground operations. Mati asserted that Ellis' presence at the event, utilizing the helicopter for aerial monitoring, falls within his constitutional responsibility as the Minister of Police responsible for the nation's safety and security. The public's response to this controversy remains divided. While some individuals support the South African Police Services explanation, highlighting the importance of prioritizing security at major events, others remain unconvinced. Concerns persist regarding the potential for abuse of power and the blurred lines between official duties and personal benefit. Moving forward, fostering transparency and accountability is crucial. A thorough and impartial investigation into the decision-making process surrounding the helicopter deployment is essential to address public concerns and ensure responsible use of state resources. Additionally, establishing clear guidelines and protocols for utilizing police resources in such scenarios can help prevent similar occurrences in the future. Beyond the immediate controversy, this incident serves as a springboard for broader discussions about the appropriate use of state resources, the balance between security needs and ethical considerations, and the importance of upholding public trust in government institutions. By engaging in open dialogue and implementing necessary safeguards, South Africa can strive to navigate such complex issues while maintaining transparency and accountability in its government's practices. For this and much more from Southern TV, be sure to leave your comment about the matter in the comment section below and stay tuned for more updates.